In 2024, it was confirmed that the 2002 sci-fi hit 28 Days Later would be receiving a long-awaited sequel, 28 Years Later, and this movie is going to look much different now than it would have had it been announced approximately five years earlier. Director Danny Boyle, writer Alex Garland, and lead actor Killian Murphy will be returning for 28 Years Later. Though there was a 2007 sequel, 28 Weeks Later, the original team was only peripherally involved. Now, Boyle and Garland are back for what could be a new 28 Days Later trilogy. The number one question about 28 Years Later is, what will the movie be about? The original 2002 film follows a mail courier who wakes up from a coma 28 days after the outbreak of a dangerous disease called the Rage Virus. Notably, this virus flips the zombie trope on its head, creating monsters that are fast, aggressive, and highly dangerous. Now with 28 Years Later, there are questions about where the story will go with the virus. There is one real-life topic that may end up playing a major part in shaping the new movie's plot. It's inevitable that COVID will influence 28 Years Later story. The real-life COVID pandemic has inevitably affected virus stories. The timing of 28 Years Later's announcement is quite notable considering recent real-life events. Back when 28 Days Later was made in 2002, it had been a long time since a global pandemic affected the world, but the same cannot be said now in 2024. After the COVID-19 pandemic hit in 2020, every story about viruses and diseases was heavily affected. It's no surprise that the movie Contagion had a resurgence in 2020. And now, 28 years later will inevitably be affected by what humans went through and continue to go through since the COVID pandemic. The biggest effect COVID will have on 28 years later is the ambience. 28 days later has a chaotic energy because it has only been a month since the rage virus began spreading, but if 28 years later actually takes place 28 years after the first movie, then the environment will be completely different. Real-life COVID experiences could play a part. For years after COVID began, there is an understanding of what life looks like after a disease ravages the world. 28 years later could evoke the same feelings arising in the real-life aftermath of COVID. 28 years later would have been very different if it was announced in 2019. Without COVID's influence, the movie would look much different. Killian Murphy as Jim at the end of 28 Days Later. Undoubtedly, 28 Years Later would look much different if it had been announced in 2019 rather than 2024. Whether it's intentional or not, the COVID-19 pandemic affects all pandemic stories nowadays. This will hopefully be true for 28 Years Later as well. But regardless, the story will likely be much different than it would have been if it had been made five years earlier. The biggest differentiating factor between 28 years later in 2019 versus in 2024 is the line between fact and fiction. The franchise is already based on a fictional virus different from the COVID-19 virus, however, there is still truth to be gleaned from the story that COVID survivors can relate to. Where 28 years later may have been more outrageous and fictionalized, it will likely now have more threads of truth running through it. In many ways, it does not have to be over the top to be effective because audiences already know the fear of living through an unstoppable pandemic. 28 years later will be far harder to watch due to COVID. 28 years later will feel closer to home than 28 days later felt in 2002. Killian Murphy as Jim holding an iron bar in 28 days later. To be fair, the COVID-19 pandemic won't just affect the creators of 28 years later. It will affect audiences too. Watching pandemic content after COVID is tricky because there is a sense of familiarity that can be comforting, but there is also a fear that strikes a bit too close to home. And when it comes to 28 years later, which aims to be scary, this could be really difficult for audiences to watch. If the story comes too close to reality, then it can make the movie even scarier than it would have been if COVID had never happened. Opposingly, this could make 28 years later even better. The added tension of real-life experience could make the new movie an even better watch because it melds sci-fi elements with reality. Not many sci-fi stories are able to do that just based on the nature of their genre. Therefore, 28 years later may have a step up over its competition in that way. In order to be successful, the movie will simply have to find the perfect mix of fear and familiarity.